Hey everybody, so what's going on with me and my big fat problems? Dug out yesterday, put rocks in, better rocks, everything I said I was gonna do. Wasn't really able, this bus has a hard time building up torque, so the back tires don't wanna spin. So if I had tires that spun, that would be a high quality problem for me. Getting up the torque to, to make that happen is another story. Couldn't get out, was about to call up for the day, and this couple drives by with their kids and asked me if I needed some help. And I thought, well, heck, man, if somebody's going to offer me help and I couldn't get it out today, I don't want this to turn into a, a bigger project than I think it is. Let's take them up on it. And he gets out. He's got a, a Toyota Tundra. So it's a big truck. It's got big tires. It's got high clearance. But it's it's one-wheel drive. It, it's not four-wheel drive and it doesn't have a limited slip differential posi traction for those of you that don't know all all vehicles are made basically from the factory at least years ago to be kind of one wheel drive on one side or the other and the trend the differential just figures out which side to send the power to so your back doesn't skip <clears throat> when you make turns that's why you put vehicles in four-wheel drive nowadays they've got it all figured out but uh, otherwise when you turn your car would skip Anyway, so he's got a one-wheel drive truck, and we hook it up to my uh, recovery strap, big heavy recovery strap. We give it one shot, and it looks like it's not going to budge with the trailer. So I take the trailer off. Okay, I, I gave it my best shot with the trailer. I should, probably should have taken it off all along. Detach the trailer, and we give that thing a couple of jerks and get it moving, and finally we get it moving. And basically what it turns into is a situation where his back tires are spinning, both of them, you know, it's trading off back side to side, spinning, making a rut that I'm kind of driving in and I'm moving. We, we got about 35 feet. I'm moving, but the bus is uh, still about three inches. On, I don't know driving up on the top surface where it's dry and, and hard packed. And so we, he gave it his best effort and God bless him, Wade and Jenny for helping out and doing what they could. He, he, uh, we got as far as we could with the bus backs up, hooks up the trailer, moves it up around to a better spot. So the trailer's in a much better spot where I would have liked it to been. You know, he, he asked me, Hey, where do you want it? This is how nice, uh, Wade is about all this and, uh, probably took us, uh, Mm, half hour, 45 minutes by the time we were done screwing around, something like that. Just a great guy, great family. And so I'll take, take you out and show you. I'm uh, still, you know, I want to put stuck in air quotes because uh, the bus ain't going nowhere and it's certainly not going to back up to the, move around, turn around, back up to the trailer, hook up the trailer. Maybe if I did it at four in the morning when the ground is frozen, I could. But, you know, it's it's kind of like a house uh, considering a house stuck when it's on a foundation. This is my house and it's no big deal. So I'll take you outside and show you what it looked like. And just wanted to check in and give you kind of a, a wrap up on how things went. Thanks for all the great suggestions in the comments about arresting or uh, recovery gear. What I decided, I went on a, a winch marathon last night and I found a Smitty built that looked pretty good, had good reviews and came in at a good price. And I almost pulled the trigger on it. But I called a buddy of mine that has uh, lived this way for a long time, not off grid, but has done a lot of four wheel and a lot of recovering. And I said, do I just want this, uh, you know, or is it something I can justify spending the money on? And he said, dude, you just want it. Cool things, you know, cool stuff is cool to have. And, and I think that would be cool. And yeah, it would be faster. But how often are you really going to, how often have you ever gotten your bus stuck? This is number one. And he was right, and really all I need is, uh, I think it's called block and uh, tackle setup, if I'm uh, saying that correctly. Basically, I need a pulley. I've already got a strap to go around a tree. I've already got heavy, heavy straps. I've already got to come along. But uh, if I could use a pulley system to double the weight capacity of my uh, come along, that's really all I need, need. And so that's what I'm going to get. And uh, hopefully this will be the last time that... Uh, this beast ever finds itself in this situation. Anyway, let's take a look outside and uh, I'll show you how it all shook out. Another beautiful day. Let's take a look at uh, how deep I was. 
I'm not gonna, I'm trying to not get muddy, so I'm not gonna walk over there. I've got mud everywhere inside the bus, but you can see what's going on here. As I'm pulling out, I'm just churning the ground, almost rototilling the ground. Wade was uh, doing his best with what he had. I mean, the guy was a great driver, just a real asset all around, but uh, we had so many things against us. I said earlier that uh, maybe I was just following in his tracks and the, the evidence is making me a liar. Nonetheless, I'm not going anywhere, really. So, you know, what do you want to call that? About 20 feet and I'm, I'm fine. We decided to call it even. Thank you for uh, resituating my trailer weight. I really appreciate that. That was one of the main things. And now I've got a little camp, you know, I've got a respectable camp going. Oh, let me show you the front. Sometimes when you want an omelet, you got to break a couple eggs. I've got to get up and clean my panels. But uh, that's enough about me showing you, you know, the aftermath and uh, talking about Wade and Jenny. Let's, uh, let's meet them. Quite yet. I was ready to have a beer with you, but... Oh, man, I don't drink. Thanks. Stop. I know it's kind of a ceremonial thing after a dude thing like this. Thank you for offering. Um, so here's my bus. It was way harder than I thought. And here's Wade and Jennifer. They are the stars of the day. Only in a two-wheel drive. <laughs> With a two-wheel drive Tacoma. And hey, whoa, whoa, Tundra. Or Tundra. Oh, get it right. Get so, it right. Some guys really like those tacos, but yeah, the Tundra for sure. Tundra for sure. Tacos, but, that's racist. She is Mexican. <laughs> that's what my buddy has a Tacoma. That's what he calls it. Um, anyway, so there you go. One wheel drive vehicle. They even got my trailer unstuck and you can see that I'm kind of still in a, I'm not going anywhere, but I'm up on top and I'll let the ground change whether it dries out or freezes or whatever. Anyway, I just want to give credit where credit is due. It, it, it took a lot more than I thought it was going to. I was thinking, ah, eh, no big deal. But these guys were just happening by and you know, good Samaritans are out there. So they got me out and I just wanted to thank them and uh, have you guys meet them. So. Uh, I just got to catch my breath. See you guys. Any, did you guys want to say anything? Um, everybody should do the same thing. You see somebody stuck, get them unstuck. Even if you got this hunk of shit, two-wheel drive, do your part. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well said, man. Thanks. <laughs>